let's be cognizant of that and being aware of that. The Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. But training requires work, right? These things don't happen. On, they, they, have, they require attention. Okay, you can't come to church and expect your kids to sit still if you never expect them to sit still at home. And we want to, like, we go out to eat. Here's an example, too, just in general. Um, how many times do you go out to a store, you go out to eat, and you see kids just running rampant and being disobedient and throwing fits and everything else? You know, shame on the parents. And if you have kids that act like that when you go out in public, then shame on you. Because you need to be able to control your household. You need to be able to control your household no matter, no matter what. And these days, it seems like, like, it's not like we have the best kids in the world. I know we don't have the best kids in the world, but at least they know how to sit still in general when we go out to eat. And what I think is odd is like how often we get complimented. I'm just thinking like, they're not even like that good. And we're getting these compliments. And I think it's just because there's so many that are just being so bad these days that it just makes, <laughs> it makes the people who even aren't that great just look like they're superstars, right? When, when the pool's just going down of like what you expect when people go out. And, and I'll tell you what, this is going to be an easy solution, but it's not the right one. When kids are acting up, just give them a device. Give them a phone. Don't do that. Don't do that. That will not help the problem. Again, it goes back to the attention span thing. If you need them to be able to sit still and be quiet, you, there's, there's, I, I know it's hard to understand, but it's like we have this concept of like, man, what would you ever do if you didn't have a phone? People have been around for thousands of years without these devices and gadgets and all kinds of stuff, and they raise children, and they're able to do it just fine. And you know what? Kids will be just fine with all, without all of that extra ad entertainment and toys and everything else. You don't need all that stuff. And they don't need it in order to be quiet. And they don't need it to be well-behaved. And you know what? You ought not to have to bribe children to do something. You ought to be in control of your house and you tell them what to do. And that's where the appropriate discipline comes in, in correction. Because at the end of the day, you got to be able to speak the children's language. And the Bible teaches not to spare the rod. And that's, and that's it. Now, look, I love my kids and I love them enough to let them understand that there's consequences for their actions. And obviously, appropriate spankings and disciplines, we're not talking about injuring them. We're not talking about anything like that. It is the swift punishment on the rear end that's going to sting. It's going to make them cry. But you know what? It's going to be the betterment of them. And they're going to understand and be able to... Uh, to be disciplined because they've been disciplined. <laughs> disciplined enough to sit because they've been disciplined. Do this at home um, and do the training. And look, it's going to take time, but you need to be able to do that. That's what training is.